The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. I do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up three, Nasdaq's up seven, S&P's are flat, gold contracts up uh, two dollars and eighty cents, trading at uh, thirteen fourteen an ounce. We have silver up eight cents at eighteen dollars and seventy one cents an ounce. Uh, oil, oil is down sixty two cents, forty four oh eight. We have the bond market uh, active this morning. Get the ten year down eight ticks. Trading at 131.22, the 30-year off 30 off 23 ticks, 171.04, and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is uh, down 222 ticks. It was up by high volatility. Uh, is going on those currency markets big time. We're at 95.79. The euro is trading at a buck 11, and the yen is at 103 and a half. And uh, we're coming into jobs number tomorrow. We are. We get a storm coming into Florida. It's not here yet, though. Yeah. It was man. here yesterday, man. It was here yesterday. And then today I had my sunroof opening the windows down. Crazy, enjoying the beautiful, man. cool air that we kind of have. Two o'clock today, we're supposed to get hammered, folks. And it, it, even it's, it's hard to believe, but that's what the radar is saying. Because like last I night. I believe it. I don't I know. know. You seem, I, you seem well, flabbergasted that there's, I don't know. It's, 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 yeah, it's, because it's, they, it, because it's like that storm was so big yesterday. I mean, yesterday was insane around here. Folks. Well, well was, we, we got a lot of rain. You needed a boat. But, yeah. just to put, but we didn't get a lot of wind. No, it is. So there's a big difference with that was kind of, I think, the outer. We're just getting all this, you know, there's a lot happening in the Gulf right now, obviously. Yeah. And then, but the, 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 the force of, what's the name of it? What's the name of the Irene? Irene it's, it's I'm nation. not sure. Herman? Yeah, I don't no. think it's Herman. It's a I, I think I think I think we got to I think we got to sell some option premium on this. Oh myself. boy! I think we got to sell What's some the option expected premium. value. We, we got we got to talk to our man, Mr. <laughs> Kevin Hanks from TD Ameritrade, folks. Every trading day, right here at TFNN, <laughs> twelve noon to one o'clock. TD Ameritrade Think or Swim has an outstanding program. You can get it right on your cell phone, folks. TFNN.com. Hit Tiger TV. And folks, if you've never test drove that Think or Swim platform. Come over to our website, hit the banner. You're going to love the platform. I've been using it for, I don't know, 15 years now. It seems like forever. Um, and every day it keeps getting better. It's just amazing. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. In life and in trading, buy umbrellas when the sun is shining, guys. Oh, there that's you go, man. That. This, yeah. Don't try. You know, it's so wild about that, Kevin. Don't try to get insurance in Florida right now. There's no doubt, man. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, exactly. you know what they do, folks, when, when a hurricane is actually coming in? Now, had, they hadn't done it because when a hurricane's coming in, they just stop it flat out. The insurance? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. sure. Yeah, exactly. That's not how insurance works. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly insuring a known event when no. it's a known event, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. So... Um, you know, jobs number tomorrow, Kevin. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna... all about that number, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that, that's what we're waiting for. All these numbers, although some of these numbers are actually market moving numbers. Right? Yeah. That that um, productivity number, you know, the productivity being down, wages being up, the number that came out early this morning. Yes. That's not ideal. Right. It's good for bonds. You know, it's it's good for yield. It's not good for bonds. Right. So. Yeah, that, uh, you know, this is going to be an interesting number tomorrow. And, you know, we guarantee very little in this business, as you know. But this market will move tomorrow. The bond market will move tomorrow on that number regardless. Yeah. One way or another, it's going to move. And you know what's wild? You know, I, I, is it the PMI that just came out? So just as we're starting the program, folks, the 10-year bond had been at, uh, let's see, at 740 this morning. It was at 130.24. Uh, it gets down to 130.14, and it just shot right back up to 130.22. As you know, the last literally the last uh, two minutes. So we, yeah. there's going to be some there's some action out here, man. I I know something happened. I'm walking down to get on the phone with you guys, and my phone blows up with traders going, "What just happened? Right. What happened to futures just now?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I'm not in front of my computer." <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm with you. Everyone's and, asking the same and, question. And it did. Yeah. And it. And it, it yeah. And it just moved the dollar. Look what just happened. It just moved yeah. the dollar. The dollar had been up when I just did the update. It's 35 cents. Dude. Yeah. Good idea. It just went from uh, 96.24 to uh, 
95, uh, 85. So it was, yeah, it was. It's so odd, Tom. I was listening to your update, and I'm in an office all by myself, and you said the dollar was down. I'm like, the dollar's down? It was up when I left my desk. Exactly, <laughs> so, exactly. How long's your walk, Kevin? You got to be careful, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long have I been in this room? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I, I, but, I, 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 you know, you, they're, they're looking for 180,000 tomorrow, guys. That, uh, that, that's the number that they're looking for. Um, you know, all the other numbers they'll chop through and, and, and you know, and digest, consume and digest and yes. figure out what they mean. But the big number is going to be they're looking for 180. And if it's strong, it's going to it's going to throw that it's going to throw some indecision out there about interest rates. It is. It is. And got to love indecision when it comes to volatility, oh, man. Oh, man. And, <laughs> and, com and coming into the holiday weekend, it's like, okay, you know, last night I'm sitting on my couch and it's pouring out around here, Kevin, right? And I'm, I'm saying, man, you know, am I going to have a great weekend or a good weekend or am I going to be flipped out because of what happens at tomorrow morning? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling Either you. Either way, I think you'll see big volume in the morning. And then you may need to get done what you need in the morning because I think even though the, you know the, we have the number tomorrow, volumes will you know trail off in yeah. the late afternoon. People, people are going to be trying be, to find a way to say the day's over. You know, you know for, they, sure. Exactly. They, they, for sure. They, Once no, they can rationalize that, whatever way it goes, I'm going to trade off it and then yeah, that's get it, it done quick. And that, that's it. For it's sure. like noon time. See you later, man. Sure. You know what I mean? Right. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show at twelve o'clock. Stay dry, guys. Fuck Thanks, you, Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. The Dow right now is up uh, down six. The Nasdaq uh, is up five. S&Ps are down one and a half. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 13. Then I get the NASDAQ up three. S&Ps are uh, up, uh, down three. And uh, natural gas. Oh, that's right. The week we, is flying, man. We get natural gas happening. And what you had happened... Just about the 1030 inventory numbers. Yes. Yeah. Um, yesterday, so let's see, today's Thursday. Tuesday, what ended up happening, folks, is that inside the NYSE, volume came into the, into the end of the day. Yesterday, you talk about unloading. You want to see something that's pretty amazing, folks? Okay, and this is an indication that you got unloading in a big way. 1.1 billion yeah. on the NYSE. Big number. A huge number. And then on the NASDAQ, 1.7 billion. Which is like kind of average. Yeah, which is not bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, you know, the, the indication, to me, the indication is, is that you have been in distribution, but very quietly, you talk about getting out, but that was a monster number yesterday. And we, we were waiting. I was waiting for it yesterday. I mean, be, because of the prior day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so let's, and if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit the banner on the top of the side. Bring up the uh, Nadex exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. Uh, and you can follow along as to uh, how these contracts trade. Um, and natural gas out here is going to be intriguing today for a couple different reasons. That it has been in a bull move on the way up. Uh, we get a storm uh, in the uh, Gulf right now. We do. That's <laughs> yeah. <right>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see where we're trading right now. So, yeah. Now, what did I just even go in? I just went to the daily ones real okay. quick. We'll pull up a chart. So these are the 230 spreads we're looking at yeah. in natural gas. Um, the numbers come out at 1030 and as I do that even let me just pull up so those are the 11 a.m.s we're trading right now at call it 285 okay give or take and what's going on is that from where these got calibrated yeah um, you can see that they, they don't set them in on obscure numbers you know as in they make it simple where guess where the spreads go from 275 to 295 285 to 305 yeah you know on the fives which is nice and that right now we're at about 285 okay so guess what you want an even one-to-one -one risk reward that's going to be about your ballpark right whether you're buying it let's yep. just see per contract risking 101 you know um risking 99 to make 101 but then they have both sides on the other, where if you want the ceiling at 285, there you go. You want the floor at 285, there you go. And in terms of, you know... Wait, where's the floor at 285? Let me look at that. For being bullish? Yeah. Okay. So right now you're going to be paying basically nine ticks, right? So 285 is yeah. the floor. Yep. 285, nine. Okay. So you're risking nine for a max profit of 191. And the, these are the 11 o'clock... Um, expiration. These are 11. Nice. And within that, there's another five, as in it's not even at the floor yet, right? So, yes. so you know, you're paying those $9, yep. but there's you're paying more premium than that over the current value. Right. That's all. Right. Um, you know right. what I mean? It needs to move more than those nine ticks, which is... Because right. we're at 284.67. And I think that's just so nine, the, the nine ticks, it's ticking. It's ticking in, you know, thousands, basically. Yeah. So just to follow, you know, the 2.8, the 8 is the tenths, the 6 is the hundredths, right? So yes. 286, but guess what? We're at it, and it's actually 285.9, and the 9 is where the ticks come from. So 9 one thousandths is kind of the premium you're paying. Plus, really, though, it's trading, though, right now at 284.6. Right. So, just so you to need put a half a penny all. move. Yeah, and it, it's tough when you talk about it in half a pennies, though, because then you think, like, half a penny, that's not much, but you got to be aware that this actually ticks in thousands. So right. a half a penny would be 5 Ticks, five hundred, right? No, five. Okay, that's where. See, that's why we okay. go slow. That's okay. it. That's it. You know, I a tick is a dollar. Okay. A tick is a thousandth. Right. So I like to refer to it in this nice decimal okay. because when you talk in half a penny, yeah, you're jumping. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Where half a penny is actually five ticks. I do. Okay. It's, it's five dollars. Right. But you're right that it's half right. a penny under the market right. where it's a two eighty four five almost. Yep. And then so it's the five plus the nine. You're paying like fourteen, fifteen dollars above premium. But that's a nice trade, especially if you expect a I, huge pop. I, now, guess what? You want to go both sides? What if you go both sides, right? Okay. Let's look at this. So you're yeah. bullish. Well, you you might be bullish, no, no, yeah, right? Right. If you were, I think I'm going to go that way. Yeah. 
But let's say you just weren't directionally biased in either direction. Okay. And you wanted just a huge pop. Okay. Well, here's the other side. So you could sell the one with a ceiling at yep. 285. So it's going down. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then you're buying the one with 285 as the floor. So here are the two contracts. Yeah. You'd be risking nine on one, 13 on the other. You'd be risking $22 okay. dollars total. Yeah. And realistically, you know, your your loss, your max loss of all 22 right. is it expires exactly at 285. That's pretty cool. Right? Yeah. yeah no, that's why, that is a cool trade. That and that's why I say, just so, <clears throat> last point, is that's why I say it's always cool when it's set up exactly like this, where I think it's a perfect for most traders, no matter what you want to do, if you're trying to trade, because guess what? There's an even risk reward, and then you have a far outlier on the way up, far outlier on the way down, and you kind of get to make those choices. So me, go ahead. I know you're going to jump to Bloomberg. And, yeah, this yeah. is pretty wild, man. I kind of like this. And then we're going to go to Tim in Denver. Uh, oh, and then we got Al Perfect. We're piling let, up. Let it's action. Uh, UNG. If I just pull up the UNG for a second. So the UNG. Ooh, so that's still a bullish occurrence. Okay. I like that. So bring us in. What do you do? Well, you, what I'm is looking at is that the first that move. spike okay. out here this morning was, was a good move. And that was uh, at 950. Yeah, it was 950. That's a move uh, top side. Let's go to Tim first. Hey, Tim, what's going on, brother? How are you doing? Good morning, Tim. Great, man, yourself? Uh, Tim, with, uh, Kim with a, T, a K. Ah, Kim. Oh, Kim. What's happening, man? How you doing? Not much. You guys getting a little rain out there? Oh, yeah, we we, need we to... got rain yesterday. yesterday. We we have a reprieve this morning. Yeah, and then the rain and the wind is coming for us this afternoon. Two o'clock this afternoon, I guess it's coming at us. We'll see what really? happens. Hopefully, hopefully you can stay in the air this afternoon. Yeah, we got I'm... great weather in Colorado. A little rain here, a little sun there, so it's great. Though. Sweet. You know, this morning is really beautiful though because it it's is. so cool right here because right. all that rain is just the nice cool air. So it's kind of a nice yeah. morning in terms of for for sure. It is. Yeah. Enjoy your show. Thanks, Thank man. you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was going to ask you on the EROI, you had mentioned oil came out to ice. Yes. I have uh, a position in EROI. So let's take a look at it. EROI is the direction, 300% bear position. Um, the low out here is... Uh, oil, oil, right? Can you finish it? 300% what, what, uh, bear of what? That's correct. Uh, oh. of, of the energy select sector. Okay. okay. So that's going to be the Exxons, the... Okay. Chevrons of the world, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and this is a good trade, man. Um, we, we take a look at this. You you get off the lows. You get off the lows with good volume yesterday, and this thing was this. You know we had uh, two million shares. If we go over to the XLE, we'll just take a look at the correlation here. What you're going to see is that the XLE couldn't handle the top of the consolidation. And, you know it popped up there going back on the 18th of August. It comes down yesterday with volume. I, I mean, it looks to me like the XLE is going to make its way down to 66 to 64. You know, because uh -huh. that's the lower end of the consolidation. So if that's the case, you go, you go over to the EROI again. That's going to make its way up to the, you know, at least the lows of that high, which is $16.11, Kim. You know? So where do you put a stop on that thing? Well, you know, they, you know, these are daily investment vehicles. I mean, that's they, they, you know, if you, if you don't understand how these work, folks, go to our website at TFNN, hit ETFs. You're gonna see three papers there. I would put the stop. I mean, realistically, today, you know, put the stop uh, right underneath the low of today. You know, well, actually, okay. it, it, you need more than 14, like 14.21 or something. Okay. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Kim. Stay right there, folks. We come, you too, man. We're coming right back with gas numbers, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, so uh, let's... <laughs> They can see the chart. I'm sure they're looking at it. We're pulling up the Bloomberg on the other screen. We'll get the actual numbers coming out. But the numbers did come out. Quite a spike down from 285 to below 280. Yeah. Um, let's see the numbers. And so they stockpiles rose 51 billion cubic feet. The median estimate was 43 billion cubic feet. So you get 8,000 more yep. cubic feet. And what you decided to do is you decided to go for both sides of it. Thankfully. I did. Thankfully, <laughs> right? That was the last second. I did. Uh, you know, we took both sides. We'll see. You have till 11 o'clock. Both of them are 11 a.m. So we got them both up here. It's the trade that we kind of went over beforehand. And what's going on is, is that this market is digesting this information right now. That's right. what's going on. Nobody knows where the bid offer is actually because it's moving so fast, I think. And what happens is, is that as trades get taken, the bid and the offer um, might dry up for a moment when there's times of really fast news. Now, this should kick back in. Um, as this market moves, but we'll see where it went. We went both sides. You did five contracts per side. Yeah. And you can see that, of course, the 265 to 285, the side that's the bearish trade, of course, is the one that has all the equity now. Right. And the other one. And um, I believe that you had about $140 combined. We'll pull it up exactly. Yeah. Um, 85 and 85 50, 135. 85 and 45. 130. 130. 85 and 45. 130. Um, and so this is tough as the market disappears to get a value, but you can see that at 280, yeah. so this is where it goes, at 280, each contract's gonna be worth $50, because right. 280 to 285. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Each penny's $10. Right. Um, so right now you have five contracts, and if it expires at 280, that's gonna be $250 of value, just for those. Now, we, you know, you can close these out as the market regains some wow, activity. But, you know, anytime there's big movements when you're, when you're paying a small premium. So it's so cool that you picked up the aspect of it's not always like that, that it's right at that level. It was the at 285. The yeah, right. 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 And that is, you know, like I said, that's your, your max loss there is going to be if it expires at 285 on the dot. Because yeah. then you have two contracts where no, max to the totally. up, max to the up. And guess what? It expires right totally. where you make no money on either of them. Right. Um, 
I like that. I yeah. like that. I like that. Because the other side of that is, is that as long as it doesn't expire right at 285, you're actually going to have some value. Right. Because right. if it's above 285, your bullish position is going to have some value. If it's below, it's going to have some value. You know, maybe not much because it was trading right at 285. That's sure. your risk in the straight, of course. Right. But guess what? I mean, in realistic nature, like realistically, you were... So you had five contracts at about a buck thirty-five, right? Yep. So you needed to make back twenty dollar, twenty plus dollars per contract. So that means if it was twenty-five dollars. Yeah, yeah. So if it was above about two eighty-seven fifty, right, or below two eighty-two fifty, right, you begin to and take in profit, right? right? And below that, you're just kind of recouping your cost. Yeah, but, but we'll see what happens. Now, yeah. you know. The, the dream scenario that these can close out, and Daryl loves these all the time, he's told stories, you know, whether it's binaries or spreads, then guess what, you close this position right now, right? right? And then you leave the, well, you don't leave it. There's no, no way blocks. to exit the yeah, position. Right. And you still have an active position. And right. as we've seen, you know, and we'll see, I know you don't want to get out of it yet, you know, and you can, um, in terms of, there's an active market on this one now, there's not going to be on this one because it's just out of the money. Right. But if you wanted to get out of this, um, let me just make sure I'm doing it right. But yeah, you'd be buying the five, and so you'd have 185 in value. It's crept up a little bit yeah. since that time, so we'll see and we'll follow it. We'll see what, we'll see where it goes from here. But that's a nice trade. That kind of illustrates kind of it setups does. that you can have it's for pretty, a very low risk, defined risk trade. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Let's go to Al in Texas. Hey, Al, what's going on? Good morning, guys. Okay, what a what a morning with the gold and the miners. Uh, so, well, what are you doing with them? I got out this morning and took some profits when I was shorting the miners and uh, got out just in time before the pop. Um, is this just a dead, uh, dead cat bounce or are we still going to be testing those lows as you guys keep indicating? What lows are we talking about, Al? Oh, on the go, like uh, testing like the uh, 1275s, maybe the beginning of the Brexit time area, June 2nd. Yeah, no, I think the gold contract, yeah, so if we're talking the gold contract, the gold contract's trading um, $1,316. It had a low out here today of $1,305. Um, it did get a nice bounce going, uh, but, you know, it's, it, uh, yeah, my, my take is that we're still going lower. Um, okay. And, and where that's coming from, okay, so the, the, the bounce that you have right here, uh, you know, we didn't even get to the highs of yesterday yet. You're really just coming up to ice. Ice would be laying out on a daily of uh, 1318. 13. And if, yeah, 1318 or 1317. If you go over to the uh, GLD, what, what you have here is that you, you get the, the worst thing you, you actually want to see inside the mining business right now is the bounce because you very well are going to have light volume out here today. Inside yeah. the miners, and if that's what it is, that could be setting up another ABC structure um, to bring you into lower price. You know, like if yeah. I if I look at Rango Resources, which has been a pretty good indication, um, that's up 254, and yeah, well, well, actually, we'd have to let this play out a little bit longer because the volume's pretty good. Actually, we're at 483,000, and if that actually did uh, more than 1.4 million today, that'd be saying that you know this bounce could be real. You know, because, yeah, that, you know, so that's, you know, you'd have, I'd give, I'd give this, let me, let me pull up a few more. Then. FNV, oh, one hold second. On, hold on. FNV, FNV's bouncing on 221, they're coming into 1.3 million, what time is it, 10.30? 10.30. To be determined, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, you got to let this play out a little bit more to see if you're going to get volume in them. Because if you, if you do get volume, Al, on the way up today in them, that would be saying that they're going to get a good bounce going. Okay. Um, now, the bond market is still, let me pull this back up, because we had a lot happen since we've been on the air here. Now, I hear that, I keep hearing you guys, or you, Tom, repeating that uh, this may play out for a couple of weeks. Could it just play out real quickly and sharply tomorrow with the announcement and just go to the bottom and just test that low and just bounce right back up? Yes, it could, for sure. Because because we've come down so dramatically already, yes, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, so I've seen that happen before many times. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, no, the, you can, I expect there's going to be high volatility, man. And 
what I believe Al's saying, folks, is that you can get a quick trashing, goes all the way down, and then says, see you, don't want to be you, that's the last cell on the way down, and then just takes off topside. Because, see, you know it's so wild, I was thinking about this last night, you can, you can, you can be absolutely right, I, I can be right, folks, in the context of, okay, bonds want to go higher, gold wants, I mean, the dollar wants to go, um, bonds want to go lower, dollar wants to go higher, but then the market turns around and says, well, I don't care, I want gold to go higher anyway. So it's going to be what happens, you know, with that news. Sure. There's, there's no doubt about it. Now, fundamentally, you know, theoretic, theoretically, book-wise, if bonds go low and the dollar goes higher, the gold should be lower. But that doesn't mean that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, hey, man, I just want to say I fill you guys with all that rain. I'm over here in Houston now, so because uh, I moved from Colorado, and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a mess sometimes. It really is. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you out here growling and prowling with us, Al. Wow! Wow! Oh, yeah. Perfect. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now uh, is getting hammered. It's down 68. Nasdaq's off 19. Oh, and look at that. Perfect. And, and Let that natural gas, gas run. We got some money. I like it. Perfect. Well has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Let's go to our man, Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, Tom. Tommy, how are you? Morning, doing Tom. great, man. Yourself? I'm uh, doing pretty good, thanks. Cool, man. So, hey, uh, looking at that USLV and uh, 
thinking I was looking for a little quick pop. We got it, and then I'm thinking about just flipping it over to that JDFT again. <laughs> Seeing it down a couple of bucks. What are you thinking on that? Well, let's take a look. So first, we're going to look at the USLV. Now, this is the 300, the velocity 300 percent position of long silver. This is the phys physical silver. So I want to go over and just take a look at the silver contract because what you've had silver, it's been very subtle. Uh, what's been happening with, with the silver. To me, it looks like silver's actually building cars to get into lower price. You know, so yeah, I would I would get out of the USLV. The reason you know the USLV is a yep. bullish position of it, all right? Now yep. to go to the JDST, you know, this is just the opposite. Uh, this is the direction three hundred percent bear position in the junior miners, which is down to two bucks right now. So J D no, GDX, GDXJ GDX yep. is what it trades off of. So if we take a look at the GDXJ, what you're going to see is that that's been coming down with volume. The real question is, and this is a tricky one, just when we were talking with Al. Uh, yeah, so JDST is the bearish position, right? GDXJ is up, so that's why JDST is down $2. Yes. Just to bring people slowly right, and go for it. Right. So... It, right now, it, it's really tricky out here, Tom. Um, yeah, I'm looking maybe this afternoon to see what, what where it goes, what it does. And well, I'm to, I, okay. So tomorrow, I, I can tell you, position-wise, folks. Okay, um, I still think that the miners are going lower, and you know the gold is going lower. What you're hearing off me talking to Tom right now, it's really just this time of day. It's like, okay, man, hold it. What do you want to do here? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I would not be, I, this, is, this is the bottom line, I would not be long gold, silver, or the gold or silver equities. You know, we've been, we've been flat for a good month, um, and I wouldn't be long them, because I don't think this thing is done yet. Um, that, doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that you don't, you go, sh you go shot them right now, because the amount of money that's been made on the shot position has been huge. You know, there's no doubt. So yeah. it's like, okay, is it going to be small bounce? You know, it could be. So I yeah, wish I, like, I wish I could be more, you know, definite in this. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Maybe I just test it with a thousand shares for tomorrow or something, you know, and just uh, just see what we got, you know. Well, call us at three. I plan on being set up by by two thirty this afternoon. I think that's. I, I mean, I think this is going to change between that. Do you know what I'm saying? I definitely plan on being set up for tomorrow morning. And and if we treat if 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 the markets were just like they were right now, I'd be set up to be shot everything, you know, because the markets right now are still saying that this thing wants to go south. And, and the, the, the bonds have rejected lower price thus far, but the volume's going to be way too high. So that's tell, telling me that the bonds are going to be back downtown again tomorrow. I think that doll is playing a little trick there, too, also. It today, is. You know, it I, well, that, I, and... I agree. And, you know, the, what, what you have with the dollar, folks, okay, is the dollar's pulling back. Um, it couldn't handle the high out here. Uh, but what you're pulling back into is that you're pulling back into the monster day. The 41,000 contracts, the high of that is $95.58. Looking at August 26th. Yeah, something. August 26th. You're pulling back into that with 13,000. It's 41,000. You know, it, it looks to me like you might get a rejection of 95.58. You know, we've hit 95.63. So. If I get a chance, I'll try to call you back this afternoon. That'll be great. <laughs> well, I'll be talk. I'll be I'll be talking right to you this afternoon anyway, whether you call me or not. How's that? Hey, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, brother. You guys, you guys have a great day. Weather that storm down there, will you? Yeah. The storm's coming in. The storm's coming in the marketplace too, folks. <laughs> you gotta navigate that storm. Make sure you're on the air. <laughs> my nail, my nails are getting longer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there we go. Yes, it is. <laughs> Okay, you, brother. Guys. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's check back in on that natural gas market. Ah, it's just navigating around that 280 mark. Yeah. So that's you know what? No, that's what we are saying. 280, um, each contract's going to be worth $50. You have five contracts both sides. That'd be $250 in value. And I think you said you were in for about 135 call it 145 right. even with commissions. Yeah. So that's, that's it'd be interesting if that's how that shakes out. Because if you just joined us, folks, I actually traded both sides of the marketplace. Yeah. And... As Tommy had said, you can't do that all the time. It just happened to be that that was at that right level, meaning the 285, sure. right? Sure, yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tell it to cooperate. We're already up to 281. There just goes $10, $10 per contract. So unfortunately, now you're at $200 in equity. 
Yeah. Yeah, 180 when you can factor it in. But. And what do we got? We got 14 minutes. Let's see what happens. Well, we'll see where we go. Um, so let's see. One of the Tigers want to take a look at the Platinum contract. Platinum PL. Let's see. Just keep typing it. P-L-A-T. It'll come up. Platinum active. Here we go. All right. Okay, so Platinum right now is 1,048.50. When's platinum going to be more expensive than gold again, man? I know, man. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, you know, this is intriguing, man. I'm glad, I'm glad uh, Danny had to pull this up. And this is why, folks. So platinum breaks out over the 1,090 mark and then can't handle price and breaks back inside it. That's dangerous, man. You know, it's like it got sucked back in. So that's platinum's. 1,050, yeah, Plat load them up on the wrong side. Platinum's saying 1,015. And the reason I'm saying that is that when you get back inside a, a range, it's really dangerous after it already broke out. And it's like, okay, it just wants to go to the other side of the range. I mean, I know that sounds simple, but it's like, well, that's the range. And in this case, it's way below the top of the range, which is 1,090. And now what it's done, normally I just, I'd go to the biggest volume days and so, the largest volume day is out there on July 5th. And you see the low of that is 1,050, and we're already below that. So it's like, hey, who wants to go lower? Sure. The sellers. So when you put that together, um, that gets pretty dangerous for the metals market in general. Um, you know, it, it, what's so wild, though, is that platinum has been below gold for such a long period yeah. of time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There's really... Hey. Everything changes. We'll see what happens. No, it but, does. You know, it, I mean, it, it, in, it, in a realistic it, nature in terms of technology and, and how things get used, I have no idea in terms of the fundamentals, but I know enough that everything is changing in this world, <laughs> yeah. you know, in terms of so. No doubt. So maybe that relationship is a little bit different going in the year 2000 than yeah. it was in the 1900s. That's no, on, you know, no, no just, doubt. Let's go. Uh, you talk about change. I want to go over and take a look at Tesla right now. So, yeah, yeah, what's going on with them? They, oh, so what's, check, what's, yeah, go ahead. He's got some problems. That's what man. I've heard. I've just been so, so busy, but I've heard his name getting thrown around for oh, yeah. you so, talking about him yesterday. Go yeah, ahead. so... Uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, what's going on between them and Solar City? Yes. Um, you know, his cousin runs Solar City. Elon owned 20% of it. Now they're going to merge. Well, in the journal this morning, they're not only going to merge, but now he, had, he just raised... 1.2 billion in Tesla, and they already need more money. Yeah. So they both got to raise more money, yeah. and and Solar City couldn't raise more money. So Elon Musk and his cousin gave them 65 million. They bought the bonds, and so now it's gonna. They're saying if you can't sell it, now they're giving them their money. Here, what, tell me that, that was quick, right back. man. Maybe we can go through that a little slower. Yeah. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. 
As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. So if we, Tesla, what's going on with Tesla is this, is that Tesla raised $1.2 billion Dollars about uh, five months ago, May. But that's only that's that's not even five months ago, right? Three months ago. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now they're going to merge with Solar City. Solar City went out to try to raise money. They couldn't raise any money. So Elon Musk and his cousin bought all the bonds, sixty-five million in bonds. What the Journal's saying this morning is that Solar City needs. More money, and Tesla needs more money. So Tesla's going to have to go out in the marketplace again right now and raise money, and they're saying that Solar City can't raise money because no one will give him the money. Uh, and then on top of that, he's getting bad luck this morning. On top of that, one of his, uh, he has yeah. a, one There's of his. Explosion. Yeah. Cape and it was, Canaveral. That's right. the SpaceX. SpaceX. No yeah. one was on it. And yeah, they're all just the rockets. Yeah, um, you know. Uh, yeah, they're, it, 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 to put the silver lining that you could, you know, that's, I think, they're, 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 they're driving new technology with those types of rockets, you know, in terms yeah. of being able to take off and then they're actually being able to land them again. So right. like the pieces. So, right. you know, I, I, I gather that technology isn't perfect as you're trying to, to really make breakthroughs, no. you know, in terms no, of like, there's, there's a reason there's, there's why no they're doubt. competing with the NASA's of the world. And I imagine if you're trying to compete with NASA, that's gotta be a tough task, right? I mean, the mistakes you have made, you grow, you do whatever you do. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be wild. Unfortunately, no one's on. I wouldn't be saying the same thing oh, if there were yeah. people on there. You know what I mean? No, that, no. that as long as it's just a technology and money, it's probably just a part of their growth. And, and Yeah. No, no. I, there's no doubt. Yeah. Because it's happened before, too. Just right. To, you know what right. I mean? So that's, right. it has. And this one, I, the, what they were saying was a routine one. So A routine what? A routine takeoff. Oh, okay. That's something happened. That, until it, well, aren't they all routine until they go bad? That's where I don't think so. That, that's, no. not what, okay. that's not okay. what the, the story right. was. Some of them are experimental yeah. or something. Right. Okay. Uh, market wise out here, folks, uh, you know, you, you get some selling happening in the marketplace and we'll see, uh, well, let's see what our natural gas is doing. Ah, perfect. Oh, that's good. That's there what we, we needed. So what I was saying to you just to put it to, yeah. uh, just to take notice of is that, you know, sometimes you'd be like, oh man, is there still premium priced in here? Right? right. Because there's only five pennies to the upside, but I have 15 pennies to the downside of profit potential. Yes. Um, and what's, now, especially with only, what do we have, you know, three minutes until expiration for these 11 AMs. Okay. Um, there's no premium. The bid offer is just kind of oscillating around the bid offer. Right. I mean, around the, the current market. Okay. Because what the market's saying is that there's a realistic expectation that your risk versus your reward is basically even right now because the probability that this goes above 285 before 11 AM is almost nothing. Right. So therefore, you're risking one to make one. In this right. in this trade because it's not going to go above 285 so so your risk only needs to be calibrated for your potential profit which is 275 to 285 kind of yes. so that's just to keep in mind right so there's it's a 285 and then guess what it's a 282 to 288 just right. bid offer right around it 
So? And then not closing it out, which is important. I'm still going to pay commission, but at, with 90 cents a contract. But what does happen is that I'm going to get the closing price at 11 o'clock. You are. Versus they, buying the spread. You are. And your only risk, though, is that your position is open for those two minutes. Oh, I know. And, and which this is, is which moving is a risk. <laughs> right now. I mean, just that's, to put it in perspective, right. you could buy it back at 2807 Yeah. You're paying almost $2 per contract is all you're risking. That's only $10. That's it. I yeah. love it per contract, if yeah. you know, per contract. Because oh, my only point is that this is ticking around. So 280, oh, and there it disappears with about two minutes left. Okay. Um, there might not be an active market. It's just too quick at the end. 280, call it four. And like we said, we could have gotten it out of it at 280.7. So your risk there is that what? You know, that it goes above 280.7 by the end. But we got about a minute and a half until expiration. It's a good trade. It's a good beautiful thing. You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's going to be coming up next with your growl and a prowl. And then, of course, we want to thank of Swim Headquarters, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, uh, myself, uh, Andy. Of course, uh, it's a, uh, Thursday. It's a beautiful thing. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Thanks, Thanks pal. Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.